Hello, I'm Grace with Once Upon a Couch, and today I have for you a seven minute cool down stretch routine consisting of nine different types of stretches. This is an excellent routine following a day from the T3 Arms 12 Day Challenge or any other upper body focused routine. This channel likes to support new and upcoming artists, and today we'll be featuring the following. Let's get started. Let's begin with the shoulder stretch. One arm comes across in front of your body, grab that elbow and pull across for a good shoulder stretch. So today you'll notice I'm joined by my husband. He's a little camera shy, but he was willing to join me in today's routine. Let's switch sides, opposite arm comes across, grab that elbow and pull. Up next we have a tricep stretch. Arm comes over top of your head, reaching towards the opposite shoulder, and with the other hand, grab that elbow and pull it back behind you. You'll want to feel this in your tricep as well as the outside of your shoulder. Switch sides. Our next move will be a chest stretch. Place your hand against the wall, fingers pointed away from you. Rotate the chest away from your hand until you feel the stretch in your chest. If you feel this in your bicep, rotate your arm so that your elbow points at the floor. Same thing on the other side. Other hand on the wall, fingers facing away, elbow pointed towards the ground. Let's move into a quad stretch. So standing up, one leg bent behind you, grab with the opposite hand, bringing your heel as close to your butt as you can. Use the wall or chair if you need help with balance. Other side, standing tall, and push your hips forward to get that nice stretch in your quad. Let's change into an oblique stretch. So bring one hand over top of your head and lean away from the arm down as far as you can. You should feel this along your side up to your rib cage, maybe as low as your hip.
Let's do the other side. Up next we have a cat cow. Getting onto your hands and knees. Your knees should be directly under your hips and your hands directly under your shoulders. For the cow part of the cat cow, move your head back and up. Curve your back downward and stick your tailbone out. For the cat part of the cat cow, do the opposite. Moving your head forward and down, curve your spine upward and tuck your pelvis in. Just repeat at your own pace, getting a good stretch in your back. Next, let's sit back on those heels, moving into a child's pose. Hands out in front of you. Take a deep breath in and stretch your chest and lower back. As you breathe in and out slowly, walk your fingertips away from you. Now this one is viewer's choice. You can stay relaxed in the child's pose, or you can switch into a glute stretch, laying flat on your back. So let's get into position, lay flat on your back, cross one leg over the other, grab behind your opposite leg and pull your thigh in close. You will feel the stretch in the leg that's crossed over top. Keep your lungs open, Try to get a bit more range of motion. If you don't have the flexibility for this one, then just bend both your knees up and grab behind one thigh at a time, pulling it close to your chest. Switch sides, other leg goes over top, and pull in. Do not grab your shins, that puts a strain on the kneecap. Instead, grab behind the thigh and bring it close. For our last move today, we have a TGTF. Thank goodness for the floor. So laying down on the floor, letting our hands and legs relax out. Taking deep breaths in and out and feeling the support of the floor. You are done. Be sure to drink plenty of water to replenish your body and thanks for viewing. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to see more, then subscribe, and I'll see you next time.